Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm off to Cars and Coffee this morning. Been cleaning the car up last night, give it a nice wax and a and a wash. And um, I actually did the same to me. I don't look like a vagrant anymore. So anyway, join me today and we'll have a bit of fun and hopefully there's a few me new members there. All right, let's go. I had a good show in today. Brian bought his new 300 CD, new to him obviously. See? It's growing. That's it. Alright, we got a couple more tickets. Beautiful leather interior. You have ticket number 617719. Uh, what are we, 232,000 on Brian's uh, 300 CD. Bought it for his daughter as uh, uh, her first car. Very lucky. He loves the open coupe design, you know, with no upright metal here and the nice big sunroof. As close to a convertible as you can get without having the soft top. I think we broke our record today. We've got six cars here. 129 just showed up. 500 SL. Nice Burlwood interior there. I don't know much about uh, this era of Mercedes. I saw one a few weeks back at a um, garage we go to for sale, but that, that's pretty. Brian's got the, most of the records for this, have you, Brian? Yeah, I do, and uh, you know, here's the the plate that was actually on it when they purchased this at uh, Daimler-Benz in Stuttgart. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. And then um, in this uh, box that I have here, there's another envelope at home, but uh, yeah, he's got, um, here's the title right on top, but, He's got all the records from when this was, some of the services here are back in, let's see if I can catch a couple dates on here, but the same mechanic worked on this car for 38 years. Wonderful, that's so a find, isn't there's it? Yeah. Oh, 03, that's 18 years ago, and so wow. I think every, everything previous to... So did they buy this new, or was it with a little mileage? No, on? they bought it brand new at Daimler-Benz oh, wow. in Stuttgart. That's wonderful. And they lived there, here's 1999, Everything previous to 95 is in that you got other, in that other envelope. Wow. So from 1981, when they got here, right. to 94, which is 12 or 13 years, is in the, oh, part, the other part, book. part one. Oh, that's awesome. This is part two. Yeah. See, this one says uh, 1231.99 right. was the beginning of and this onwards, one. And onwards, yeah. And then onwards. But it's they also kept good playing. records, and then you've got yeah, all the... I've got the original... Um, booklets. Oh, lovely! They came with it. Yeah. The maintenance booklet for the 240, 300, 300, uh, the TD, CD, yeah. D, and SD. And then also he gave me his uh, Chilton, Chiltons. Yeah, which is nice. And uh, the uh, the people were so nice that they also threw in a bottle of wine. Well, you can't go wrong with that. To the owner, and I said, I don't have to break this on the bumper, right? And he said, No. Is, is this Daimler Benz? <laughs> <laughs> Never even put that yeah, together. Right. But this is from no, some some people that they know. Or, yeah. Some people that they know and it's champagne. So Very cool. Yeah, kind of a toast to the new owner. They had a um, this car had a name. Oh, which what was they it? They didn't share with me. I forgot to ask, but I eventually I probably will, because the car's new name is Oogie. 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 Oh, o O G I E. Oh, okay. And that's what Adriana Joy's name is. Her name is Oogie. Oh, okay. That's what Papa calls her. Oh, there so you go. Her car is called Oogie. Oogie, and she likes her retro cars, doesn't she? Man, she was so happy. I pulled this off the trailer, parked it in the driveway, and uh, she says, Did, is that your car? Uh, and I had the key in my hand. I said, no, it's yours. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> but I'm going to drive it a lot, too. There you go. Yeah, you get to... Got, a, got the original first aid original kit. Original first aid kit. In the back window. There's certain cleaners that they'll come up beautiful though. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. I'll I'll take whatever you recommend. Yeah. 
Is, that, this. is this the factory horn? I don't know. That's an added kind of air horn setup. Yeah, someone's put on there. Something strange. It doesn't yeah. work, does it? Oh yeah. Oh, it and does it's work. Loud. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's beep beep. Not yeah. like a boat flag. Yeah. I had a question for you on this. Is this detached or is that the way it is? Uh, I think that's the way it is. Okay. Because it doesn't this, move. This is mounted similar to the yeah. 108, you know, right. all the way along. along the, all the way along. No, no, that's not detached. Okay. Yeah. This looks like that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna get. I'm gonna look on yeah. and find these. Find you can find nice, these. Nice, pretty clear ones. Yeah. Put clean. the yellow lights. Yellow lights. I'm gonna go with a real high power. Yeah. On the highs. James is uh, pagoda as well. So yeah, a nice little turnout. Photograph yeah, there you go. This is a 108, I want to say, but it uh, it's um, so, oh, yes, it it's might be a 112. Is that 112? This is Greg's 111, just showed up to Cars and Coffee. Oh, yeah, see, that's early enough that they put automatic. automatic yeah, that's really cool. There. Beautiful. 25 years. Give him a dog for every year he's owned it. <laughs> it's really just uh, it's doing three intakes at a time. It's yeah. the is, that, is this work. pretty much the first year that they were able to do yeah. it? Uh, no, nah, they, they, they had a. Um, you know, oh, the, I guess the, the gold wings, right? Gold. Yeah, exactly. It was the very first. But yeah. Um, as far as, yeah. Yeah, a friend of mine from New York, his father um, brought a 230 in. And I think it was a 64 as well. It didn't have obviously the same, the same uh, body style. Yeah. But, uh, unfortunately, he's, he's got. So, what happened here, Rob? Uh, a, a minivan bumped into me at a stop sign, and his radiator blew, and his, his headlights went out, and his grill blew out, and he wow. couldn't move. He was done. Uh, I got 3000 for it. Uh, they considered it the value of the car, 3500 which right. is a joke. Uh, so, my buddies wouldn't let me to get it fixed. They let me. Dump the money into just some regular maintenance. Are you, are you going to fix it up, or uh, are you going to try uh, and find one? I would like to. I have a great guy, uh, Winners uh, uh, Repair in Colfax. He could do this, couldn't he? he? he yeah. Gave me a nice quote. He said he could do it, which is important. What sort of money is that? Uh, about thirty-five hundred. Thirty-five hundred. Yeah, to fix this whole thing. Yeah. And then I asked him, well, how about the whole paint job? You know. Oh right, grade. just to go over and it. Went over about six thousand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, so uh, we'll have to. We'll have to wait on Save it. your pennies. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, but what it is is there's two panels in these cars, so it's not just like. Oh no, the there's panel. an there's, inner one as well. Yeah, inner, inner wing. One. Yeah. Yep, yep. So it's really really uh, a lot of work to get in there and replace. Well, these are all uh, it's all spot welded on along this edge. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And, yeah. Uh, you know, um, you can see because of the because of the hit. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff's getting caught up in there. Already. Yeah. That down. might be because there's a drain hole, I believe. That's around. what it there is. There is yeah, a 108 that. The 108 has a drain hole in this area, and they're prone for blocking. Yep, that's exactly what um, it is. That's exactly yeah. what it is. And so uh, there's a bunch of gutters, you know, that you can clean yeah. out and, and, and maintain pretty often, Jeez. which is important. Give it a wax yesterday. Nice. Yeah, so the so, OM, uh, what was it again? 617? 617, yeah. Five-cylinder turbo diesel. 300,000 miles. Very nice. And uh, these cars were in such high demand in 1981 for the turbo uh, that there wasn't a lot available unless you were on a long waiting list. So some guys would buy the non-turbo and, and have the dealer throw in a turbo. Oh, in. okay. And so Rick said it's very thoughtfully done. And I asked him, I go, why is it whenever I drive other other cars of the same model, they don't seem as fast? He goes, you just have the right compression. Right. So you just got the right thing going on. What is the compressions on the diesel? I'm not sure. You're not sure? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure. Yeah. But uh, but when that turbo kicks in, it's obvious. Yeah. And right. It, and it you can makes keep, all the difference. Yeah, and you can keep up with the modern day traffic. Nice. Which is really important. Um, and you know, with any old car, you just want to pop the hood every yeah, week exactly. and look around. Yeah, sure there's nothing. Make sure everything's doing all right.
And uh, the biggest problem with these cars is I have this breather hose. Every 10 months, I got to change it. Oh. it cracks in here. Oh, it cracks. It Why is that? And it's what? um, what's that brand? It starts with an M. Mile. 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 Yeah, yeah, maybe get a better reason. one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's a pain in the ass. So I got to figure out. Uh, well, how much are those things? Probably 15 bucks a shot. Is 30. it? 30. I'd go. Shipping. I'd just get the Mercedes one for probably 80 or something you don't have to do it again well, most, most of these uh, models have it where it comes from here to here right and there's in a bracket and then it comes back over here right and it's a little bit more complicated but it for some reason it, yeah this one yeah. always it probably just because the oil is hot yeah you know um i don't have a lot of issues but yeah when i change the air filter every six months it's a little oily it's a little, yeah but not like enough to really freak out about it. right so it's one of those things. Yeah, I'm doing a bunch of repairs where, you know, the leaves get trapped yes, yes, and then there's yes. a, not a good escape route yes. for the moisture yes. on both sides. Yes. Yep. And uh, Uncle Kent on Mercedes Source has a great video about yeah, that. Yeah, keeping so those clean. Here with uh, long poker tools. Yeah. And then if you look right here. Yeah, there's a drainage hole. There's a drain hole under here and you have yeah. to actually stick something up in yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. To yeah. make sure that part's clean too. Right. Really important. Yeah. Now, are these the same? You've got the splash shields. Uh, have you checked behind those splash shields? Uh, no, I haven't. That would be, because they come out with just, oh, a, a I think, an eight mil um, socket. There's about three bolts. Okay. You take that splash shield. You could take it off okay. in five minutes, okay. right? And then it gives you access to behind this panel yeah. because there's drain holes uh, on here and, and a lot of debris gets trapped in there. Yes, um, yes. Uh, and Because you know you see them rusting down here, yes. don't you? Yes. And, but check that. And I did that on my 108. All and, the molding, each hole in the molding. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's another issue. Yeah. So, you know. But uh, luckily when they made these cars, they made, you know, the paint really nice. Yeah. Tough as balls, you know. Uh, but yeah, you're right. That's a very good point. It, it doesn't take any time, and you'll put, you'll probably point. find a little mouse hole in there with his bed or something, you know. Hopefully not. <laughs> put it on a nice cover. Uh, I had Rick do it a year ago because the other one was shoddy, and it makes a big difference, really, in the winter. The engine, you know. Where did you warmer. get this from? Uh, I bought it uh, from Mercedes Source. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, Does uh, he do them for all all models? Uh, I'm not sure. Good question. Okay. Yeah, good question. But it's so nice when I got this installed. So oh nice. yeah. From the factory, did they come quilted or? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 They just they just disintegrate they after yeah, yeah, yeah. 35 years. Oh yeah. After <laughs> yeah, only 35 years. Yeah, exactly. Huh? Yeah. yeah. So. What do you have to do to to, uh, to uh, convert this to a biodiesel? That much? Or Mostly what? the fuel lines. You don't want rubber because uh, biodiesel disintegrates rubber, vegetable oil oh, disintegrates right? rubber. So you just go for a different type of a like uh, yeah, different type of fuel lines that aren't rubber. How about other seals? Not really. No, not really. Yeah, that's about it. Um, the engines love the vegetable oil. Do they? It loves it. It's lubricated. It was meant to to run on it, and it really enjoys that lubrication and. I've heard stories of somebody driving veggie oil with no oil in the engine, and then when they finally got ran out of veggie oil or biodiesel or biodiesel and put regular diesel in it, that was it, because the biodiesel was lubricating the engine. Wow. Yeah. So kind of interesting story. Well, that went really well. We had about well, oh, two, four, about six cars today. We had a 129 show up and also another 108 from Mike in. Uh, Davis, I think he came from. Yeah, it was a fun day meeting people. I saw Brian's 300 CD, which is a nice, nice clean car with all the records way back to when it was new, coming from Germany. I will see you in the next video, guys. Click like, share, subscribe, and also don't forget, visit us on uh, Facebook, Mercedes Maintenance and Mercedes Rescue. And I'm gonna get out of these clean clothes. I've gotta get some dirty clothes on. All right, take care, guys. See ya, bye-bye.